It's all about getting, getting into a good habit with knife safety. Well, good habits you almost never cut yourself. But I used to, like, in the kitchen, I used to have different knife habits than I did when I was in the woods, right? Which makes sense. You, know, you cut yourself in the kitchen, you probably have a medical kit, you can jump in the car, you can go to the hospital. Out in the woods, you know, you're far away, it could take hours or days to get even to a of someone that has medical, you know, experience that could care for you if you had a serious cut. So it is more important. But I've even started to never cut towards myself, you know, so you see a lot of people cutting into their hand and stuff like that. It's a terrible idea, you know, and professional chefs even do stuff like that. doesn't mean it's a safe thing to do. So, with that in mind, we're just going to go over a couple basic knife safety kind of rules and habits that I like to use. First, you get a real fancy knife like this. You're, you really shouldn't cut standing up if you can avoid it, unless you're doing something real quick, right? So you always want to be sitting somewhere. And so, a demo of not good stuff, right, is cutting towards big arteries, right? So, I have big arteries in my legs here. You know, cutting towards that could be bad, right? So, if I'm cutting in a chair, I want to lean over a little more. You can brace your arms. And there's something I've seen some of you guys do where you, you use the chicken wing thing, and I don't really do that, but but that's kind of good because you can get a lot of pressure, especially for fine carving, and um, get a lot of force by using your arm, your whole arms, um, rather than trying to use your wrist or something. Um, and that's safe, you know. Uh, so always cutting away from yourself. So even your follow through, like you know, oh, I'm not cutting away from myself, but if you really had to dig in and you and you slipped, you could fall right into something, right? Another way to be safer is to use pull. Hold the knife steady and use the manipulate the thing you're cutting, right? So, you know, use the piece of wood you're cutting to um, pull that through, right? In a slicing motion. Always cutting away from yourself, never towards yourself, and do everything you can. A, a lot of places where people get messed up is they're doing stuff like this, right? Right? I've cut my, I have big scars on my fingers from doing stuff like this. And it's like kind of hard to avoid it because you're like, well, how do I. You know, you kind of like cut an, a notch or something into the tip of something, right? How do you do that? So just do as much as you can to avoid that, you know, whether it's getting a, um, a tong to hold it or, you know, or using a, a whacker on top or maybe you have to lay it down like this and cut it that way or, or, or this way or just think about ways of always cutting away from yourself. And the more times you're thinking about not cutting away from yourself rather than, oh, I can get away with... It's when you start thinking like that, like, oh, let me just do this a little bit, that's when you cut yourself. And if you start having a feeling like, oh, this feels a little dangerous, it's probably dangerous. So you always want to feel like, oh, this is safe. So that should help to avoid cutting yourself. You also want to avoid cutting other people, right? So what we talked about, you know, is like the blood circle, right? So anywhere in your vicinity, you know, where if you were to you know, follow through really dramatically, it wouldn't cut anyone. And so that's not only, you know, the cutter's responsibility, it's a combination of people walking around. So if we're doing something with knives, you've got to jump up, move slow, you know, jump up and run across the, across the you know, area, because someone might be carving and not paying attention. So it's sort of both people's responsibility. If you see people coming your way, you're, you're carving, just pause for a moment. Kind of hold your knife still. Let the person go by. So you got your clear area and an extra moment to step back or whatever. You get your own space. You know, just put your knife whenever. And, you know, and some of us will.